All right, so I mean, if you play Marvel, if you played generally any Marvel vs. Capcom, you already know. Like, you probably already sitting there like going, like, "Oh my God, Doctor Doom, Doctor Doom," who generally, I mean, he didn't really make much of a showing until Marvel Two, and that was because he had like a really good assist in the game. But then Marvel 3 came around and he was shown to have incredible potential and pretty much be a staple on most people's teams. I never used him because I was like, I don't care for Dr. Doom. Why would I have guys like Dr. Raccoon, Amaterasu, and Firebrand? But yeah, they, Dr. Doom was pretty top tier. Will he be top tier in this game? Kind of doubtful, but you know, you never know. Anyway. Doctor Doom, which, well, he's got his little laser gun. He's got the like. He pretty much looks like Doctor Doom. I wonder if they'll do the Fantastic War for movie. Dude. Anyway, Victor Von Doom, brilliant scientist, brilliant scientist, and one-time colleague of Reed Richards. Victor Von Doom's arrogance turned. The, un the unfettered megalom turned to unfettered megalomania when a lab accident scarred his face for life. Blaming Reed for his own mistake, Von Doom obsessively plotted revenge, encasing himself in a suit of metal armor and, brood and brooding in secret. He staged a violent coup against his home country of Latveria, a small Eastern European nation, and emerged as its new ruler. The dreaded Doctor Doom from his throne. From his from his throne, Doom and next his diabolical machinations slowed only by the valiant efforts of the Fantastic Four as well as his own unbridled pupils. Which it said that Doctor Doom was supposed to be like the only guy that could handle the Infinity Gauntlet. Hmm. Anyway, Doctor Doom sits as a universal type character, and you acquire Doctor Doom by doing the Blue Girl of Latveria epic quest, in which nerd epic quest. He is already a tier two character, so at max level. At max level, max rank, and the max mastery, his energy attack hits a whopping 9600, well, 9700 energy attack. His physical defense hits a 4100, hits 4100, his energy defense hits 4300, his HP hits 16,000. So, with that, with that, at max potential, his energy attack breaks the 10k barrier, his physical defense hits 4800, his energy defense hits 5100, his HP hits 18,000, or really I should say 19,000. His, his leader passive, waste of time, when debuff, removes all debuffs. Boring passive. His nor his normal pass well his self passive when he's dead, flies to self after doom after doom body is destroyed, an avatar appears with 100% of max HP. So when he's defeated, instead of just reviving, he summons. Okay. I'm trying to figure that out. I'm trying to figure that one out. Anyway. Tier 2 passive. Applies to himself. Increases skill damage by 25%. Bonus damage by 12%. 50% chance to penetrate super armor, barrier, shield, all damage, immune, 
and invincible effects, super, and he gains super armor and all defenses plus 25%. Okay, so skill one, Devil's Grab, is a stun and adds burn damage. And it ignores the Bill's 20% burn damage and 20% ignore defense, increases all attack by 5%, all speed by 1%, and critical rate by 5%. Removes incapacitation. Skill two, face your doom. Will incapacitate the target, which removes back his buff, will fracture the target. 100% chance to remove it, move an area where the enemy has placed a special effect. Remove the effect of HP, recovery, time, freezing, shield, barrier, all damage immune. And reflect attacks for 2 seconds. 20% decreased all attacks. Remove energy attack damage. Fusion frenzy. 2% decreased all defenses. Applies to himself. He's invincible for five seconds. Accumulates true that Accumulates 150% of true damage regardless of defense and dodge stat and dodge rate stats. And the total damp and the total true damage cannot exceed 15% of HP. Increases attack by 15% for each 1% of damage taken. Energy damage 25% of energy attack. Antimatter pistol, the gun will cause fear status and ignores target dodge rate by 40%. Energy damage, 500% of energy attack. What? Yo, yo. Okay, skill five. Deals 35% burn damage for every 1 second for 5 seconds. Binds and stuns for 3 seconds. 25% recovery of max HP for 1 second. And he can move the and he can move using the D-pad while using the skill with the cooldown time of 25 seconds. So his team ups are He can team up with he can be the new guy to team up with the Master and Doctor Strange. He can team up with Modok and Doctor Octopus. He can team up with Loki and the Red Skull. Team up with Black Panther and Storm. He can team up with Black Panther and what's his face? Don't use anymore. Team up with Scarlet Witch and Doctor Strange. Team up with Spider Man 2099. Team up with Magneto. Team up with uh, Morgan the Fay. Team up with Iron Man. Team up with why? Team up with why would you ever team up with him? Team up with uh, team up with Venom. Team up with Victorious. Team up with Scarlet Witch. Huh. So I would say either with other Fantastic Four members or. With Scar or with Scarlet Witch and Doctor Strange, or with Doctor Strange and Master. The tip of the day is Antimatter Pistol has a chance to launch a more powerful attack with an awesome animation. All right, we got to see what this animation is. No one defeats Doom. Was my I don't remember the dang rat. I don't remember the dang rat that apparently was, that apparently has a lot of copyright thing going on with it. What I was it? Anyway. Normal attack from far away. Pew 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 pew. Up goes more pew pews. And it doesn't even push back the enemy or stuff. Skill one. Two. Teleports in. Just grabs everybody and beats the crap out of them. Teleports in, grabs every, and just whoops them. Okay. Skill two. 
Dude. Again, please. Because pretty much creates an earthquake in a, in a certain area and just goes with it. Skill 3. Wow. Dude. Okay then, skill four. <laughs> what? What the heck? Was that it? What the heck? <laughs> okay, so normally it just does that. But otherwise, you get this. You get that. <laughs> what the heck? You get the camera zoom in and he just shoots you. Dude. No one defeats you. Wait. Nope. And then he just calls it a meteor. No one defeats Dude. And I'm guessing it has a high chance of doing that. So it's probably like you have a low damage one and then you have a high damage one. What the heck? Doom! And then skill 5. What? No. And did he just do hidden did he just do a hidden missile? No! He didn't miss up! Dude! Okay. Out of all the characters, Dr. Doom has a... As much as I do not like Doctor Doom as a character, Doctor Doom takes it in terms of looks so far out of everyone I've seen. They really put effort into that. Alright. I don't know how Victorious is going to top this. He doesn't even look like... I don't know how Victorious can top this. So, no, you get her with the 20 bon with the daily 20 bonus biometrics. So you're paying to get her. You're paying money to get her. Zora Vukovic. A dedicated patriot and freedom fighter in her homeland of that area. Zora Vukovic sought out the reclusive Dr. Doom in his hermitage and convinced them once again to take up the leadership of their nation which has fallen into ruin in his absence. Having done so, Doom bestowed upon Zora cosmic powers, transforming her into Victorious, the national champion of that beer. And she has two passives? What? What the heck? Two separate passives and... Uh, oh, so she sacrificed the skill so she can have a second passive. We have we have not seen that in ages. All right. So at max rank, max level, and max mastery, or a universal type character. Her stats aren't looking that great. Her energy attack sits at 4700, her physical defense sits at 3400, her energy defense sits at 3600, and her HP sits at 14k. For a character that you have to buy, this, the stats aren't looking that great. Tier 2! Her energy attack bumps up to 5600, her physical 
defense jumps up to about 4200, her energy defense bumps up to 4400, her HP jumps up to 17k. Still not that great. And even at max potential, 6200 attack or 6300 attack. 48, 4900 physical defense, 51, 5100 energy defense, about 19k HP. Not really looking that good in terms of stats. So, leader passive. Plus all allies increases all attacks by 35%. And in and if Dr. Doom is on the team. She gives Dr. Doom a passive of decreases all damage received by 20%. 25% increase to energy attack. Okay. Her normal passive, she gives herself a HP boost of 30%, which is needed, I would suppose. But I would, we would rather say that and just give herself a 30% boost to all stats. But whatever. Anyway, second passive. Her second passive. Eight, when HP is below 50%, 25% chance to penetrate super armor and barrier effect and increases guaranteed crit rate by 10% for 5 seconds. The first one, the penetration bit is for 3 seconds. Tier 2 passive. 30% chance to increase critical damage by a hundred percent critical damage increase by 30 percent increases guaranteed dodge rate by 30 percent and increases the effect of that barrier champion so this one okay skill one is a stun skill two bleed damage and removes elasticity so Account, so this is literally a, a counter Reed Richards thing. Energy damage 23% of HP. What the? HP? What? What? Stop. Okay. Skill 3 causes a stun, increases all attacks by 35%, all defense by 1 sec, all defense by 35%, and all speed by 20% for 1 second. Okay. Invincible for 5 seconds, energy damage 25%. Okay. What? 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 And skill 4, incapacitation, and creates a shield that's 10% of max HP. Increases all damage received by 10%, 50% increase, plus 50% increase in max HP, energy damage 25% of okay. This is definitely a unique character. So instead of being based off of these stats here, which no wonder they're kind of low, she's apparently she's based off of her HP stat. All Victoria's skill deal damage relative to her HP. Increase her HP to increase both her survivability and attack. Okay. That is weird. That's weird. The most unique character in this game is going to be her now. Never have we had a character based off of HP. Normal attack from far away. Teleports in and just starts smack. And then up close, it's a combo that actually staggers. I can actually stagger my opponent. Skill one. Okay. Like crazy staff combo. Or like crazy spear combo.
skill too. Throws out a bunch of sonic waves and then creates a shock wave in the ground. Interesting. Skill thing. She pulls out a flag and just starts throwing flags at you. Then finishes you. Wow. Skill four. So she just goes, uh, they get blown around for a bit. I like the look at this skill chest. Okay. So, that's different. That's actually really different. And I would say, like... If you're gonna get Doctor Doom, you might as well you might as well get her at the same time because they obviously benefit off of each other. So can team up with Loki and Hella. Can team up with Black Panther and Ooh! Oh boy, excuse me. Team up with Black Panther and Storm. Team up with Red Hulk and Destroyer. Team up with Sharon Rogers and what's her name? Proxy and Midnight. Team up with Scarlet Witch and I forgot her name. Team up with Morgan Kay. Team up with Ironheart. Team up with Captain America. Team up with White Fox, team up with Dr. D. Hmm. Interesting combination we got. Alright, so when we come back, we will take a look at the new uniforms. Which will be Crystal, Moon Girl, and She-Hulk. <laughs> 